over Daisy. the third rail. McGrady, I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> you haven't been avoiding me, have you? Oh, how could I stay away from someone as cute as you, Daisy? Uh, you're a lousy liar. But I'll just play stupid and pretend I don't know that. So, what do you need? I got it, Daisy. I found the cure to Duncan's disease. Oh my god. That's wonderful news. How'd you do it? Last time you tried, the Pharaohs almost chewed you to bits. I didn't do it alone. The friend here got me through medtech. Now, all I need to do is get the cure into Duncan's hands. Can you help me? Of course, McCready. You've saved my behind more than once. It's the least I can do. It's okay. You can trust me. I swear I'll get the cure to Duncan. If McCready trusts you, that's good enough for me. I appreciate that. He's actually not so bad. Once you get to know him. I'll get the sample on the first caravan leaving the Commonwealth. The driver owes me a few favors. And he's reliable. It will arrive at your homestead in no time, McCready. Thanks. You're a doll. Hey, do me a favor. Take care of McCready for me. He's one of the good ones. Hey. Your thoughts? Oh, I'll be damned. I never knew that those coursers came with a free prize. So... That's all for now. I'm at me. guy patched me up, put me on his shoulder, and blasted his way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. 
carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? Every word he said was true. And then some. A full hundred. I... I can't even imagine. See? Just like I said, Bob. Full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign him up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about or lied about anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? Have any suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. Call me... Whisper. After Tommy? Or... Either way, that's very fitting. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is one of our most quickly guarded streets, so be careful Hold up. coming in or I out. think we need to talk. You never can tell when you're being watched. I hope nothing's wrong. Wrong? No, not at all. I've been waiting for the right moment to talk to you, and I suppose this is as good a time as any. After helping me get Duncan's cure for medtech, I figured I owe you something. And I always pay my debts. Here, I wanted you to have this. I know a carved toy soldier is a strange reward for risking your life, but this one's special. It means a lot to me. If it's special to you, then it's a thoughtful gift. Thank you. You're welcome. Just be sure you don't lose it. My wife Lucy gave this to me right after we met. I, uh, I told her I was a soldier and she made it for me. Never could bring myself to tell her the truth. That I was just a hired killer. And the soldier story was the best thing I could come up with. I didn't want to lose her because of what I was. I'm sure you had good intentions. I had a feeling you'd get where I was coming from. It doesn't really matter anymore. She died a few years back. We made the mistake of holing up in a metro station one night. We didn't know that the place was infested with ferals. They were on her before I could even fire a shot. Ripped her apart right in front of me. There was nothing I could do. Took everything I had to escape with Duncan in my arms. Maybe it would have been better if we died there with her. You may have lost your wife, but you saved your son. That counts for something. Maybe. I don't know anymore. Damn, I miss Lucy. No matter how bad things got, she was always there with a shoulder to lean on. It gave me... Well, it, it gave me the courage I needed to press ahead. To never give up. When she died, I thought that feeling was gone forever. Then I met you. You have the world's problems in your back, and here you are helping me with mine. Lending me your shoulder like I just want you to know how much your friendship means to me. Hey man, only best friends can share feelings like that with each other. And I aim to keep it that way. Anyway, thanks for hearing me out. Taking all that weight off my shoulders makes the journey a little easier, if you know what I mean. Speaking of which, it's about time we got back on the road, don't you think?
Desdemona told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training, and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command, but what's done is done. <sighs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. Tell me what you need, Doc. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth, H-222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. Paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. Sounds like an important mission. It is. After switchboard. We're so short-handed, I have little choice but to throw you into the deep end. The dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us, so keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. You sound rather convincing, actually. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. Hey, Carrington. I still can't believe Dez assigned you to our HQ. Well, I did risk my neck to recover your prototype. Be that as it may. Put simply, you shouldn't be here. It isn't a question of competence, it's a simple matter of security. Letting me join is a risk, but in time you'll be glad you did. We'll see. <sighs> Since you're one of us now, might as well try to keep you alive. If you need patching up, see me. Good to know. Word to the wise, be prepared to improvise. You may find your operational orders lacking. You're obviously one of the smartest people here. What do you really mean by that? No one doubts Desdemona is, uh, inspirational. But let's just say strategy may not be her forte. You can confide in me. I hesitated to bring it up, but you will be looking your life on our behalf. A certain degree of clinical detachment can be invaluable. Maybe people should learn to take their doctor's advice. I may have misjudged you. Focus on your objectives. Ignore all the distractions. Stay safe out there. Word is time this entity is under opposition control. Glad you're with us. Glad you signed on. <laughs> Means I might get to take the occasional night off. Hey, Glory. Hey, you. So the switchboard was crawling with bad guys. Mines and shit too. Any of that true? Or was Deacon bullshitting me again? Pretty much. That's hardcore. How'd you take down the old HQ? Please tell me you didn't go along with Deacon's in and out like a ghost crap. With a whole lot of bullets and a whole lot of blood. <laughs> Fortunately, the blood wasn't mine. That's how you do it. Well, welcome to the party. Whispers. We need another tough son of a bitch that can get shit done. Thanks for inviting me. We should... I don't know. Bake a cake? That's what you do, right? They call me Glory. The angel of death. The ass-kicking poster child of a liberated synth. I like it. It's not to like. You're helping out my people. So some advice? Kiss up to Tinker Tom. He's batshit crazy, but he's got all the good stuff. Noted. You take care out there. I have a report here. It reads more like a comic book. Apparently, one hell of a fight took place in Green Tech Genetics. Yeah, that was me. I took down a courser. That's what the report says. Hard to believe. I'm all for one less courser in the world, but the conventional wisdom is that you run from them rather than engage them. So why did you kill him? 
I needed a courser chip. I need the code on it. You have one of their chips? Intact? Follow me. Now. Decoding a courser chip is a very delicate operation. A million things can go wrong. The least of which is losing the data. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. Hey, dude. You need something? Tom, we got a courser chip. Whoa! For real? Oh, man, it's been ages! You've hit the jackpot with this. Hand over the chip. Let's see what's on it. Here you go. All right. Tom, make it happen. All right, little course of chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. We're in. Chip accessed. algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. Oh, man. They've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be... Come on, baby. Show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait. They're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh, man. We got lucky. I got you, you institute bastard. I got you. All right, software in. Come on. Show me that sweet base number. Come on, baby. Yeah, we got it. We got the code! <laughs> well, yeah. Good work, Tom. Yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Des. And, Agent, I hope that helps you as much as you've helped us. Good work. There's more going on than you know. Trust me. Hi. Since the sweep says you're clean. Hooray! We're bug free. Yeah, that's great. Not so fast, man. Okay, have you eaten anything out there? Because if you have, they got you. Yeah, I've eaten food. Oh, 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 I knew it. The Institute has these tiny microscopic robots in the food, man. And they report back. Tom, that's rubbish. You just don't get it, Carrington. The Institute is in your blood. If true, that's terrifying. If he had a shred of evidence for any of it, agreed. <laughs> Quite terrifying. Okay. If you really want to be safe, let me give you a little shot. Des, De Desdemona says no one has to, but he will kill those little robots. There's battery acid in that serum of yours. You can't nuke an omelet without irradiating some eggs. You ready to shoot up? Hit me, Tom. Yeah, now you're talking. Now you're encouraging him. Hey, you, you get it, man. I make things around here. You, you go and do. You do whatever. And come back, and I will set you up. Let's see what you got. Make yourself comfortable, and prepare to be astounded. Excuse me. You need anything? What do you have in stock? Well, it changes. Hopefully our agents spore more supplies in the field so me and my boys can, you know, make even more toys. Wanna see what we got? Not now. Aw, oh, man. Later then.
Hey. Yeah, what? Grab that. Easy. Get that. Yep, you got it. It's not an easy road to have chosen. But you're never one Sorry, Tinker Tom's got me. Desdemona. Working with compartmentalized information is a difficult transition for Bingo.
Update. Observed unusual activity has ceased. Window is open for a heavy to make contact, but they should act now. The package is still in my possession. It cannot remain here safely for much longer. Out. Welcome, my friend. Might I ask, do you have a Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. You? I was expecting someone of the uh, feminine persuasion. You're with our mutual friends, yes? Let's say I am. Of course. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop for all our new packages. So maintaining proper security here and preventing any unnecessary delays is crucial. A trader always has to move his merchandise sufficiently. Exactly. My current package has been in my possession far too long. I'm supposed to deliver the package to some place nearby, but raiders have complicated matters. So if you could... Facilitate delivery. I can do that. It's scheduled to be a nighttime delivery. So if you could clear out the undesirables before dawn, we can do this tonight. See you soon. Everything looks clear. This is H222. H2, here's the person I talked to you about. There may be more raiders out there. We should make this quick. Quick? Got it. Remember what I told you, H2. I'll fire up the signal. Mr. Stockton said I shouldn't say anything. Hey, H2. From what I've been told, it's probably yeah. safer if I, I find don't say Keep I H2 don't safe. Do more danger. Someone will be here shortly.
Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Whisper, right? I heard about you. Walked the Freedom Trail, cleared out Switchboard. Glad you joined the team. Do you have a Geiger counter? Right you are. Mine is in the shop. All good? Now, let's take a look at our friend. Hey, you. You okay? A little rattled, but I've never been better. The other man, he said I shouldn't talk too much. He told you right, H2. You'll need a real name and a new face, but we'll get to that. Oh, listen. There's more than raiders behind me. I'm afraid we need a little more help. More raiders. Not a problem. You headquarter heavies mean business. We need to get to Ticonderoga's safe house, my home. A lot of sense fresh off the boat crashed there until we smuggled them out of the Commonwealth. All right. Ticonderoga, here we come. I'll lead the way. Catch up at Tycon. We just gotta make it there alive first. work for you agent types huh. just part of the service I think I'm gonna like you even more than glory if you ever need grub bullets or just a power nap take the elevator up to Tycon my house is yours but right now I need to take care of H2 later
Hey there. For the railroad.